Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our today's topic is a new priority. It is second major topic of uh, the relevant chapter. Uh, we have already studied polyploidy, euploidy with the different polyploid conditions. Now, a new priority is addition or deletion of one, two, three, or a few chromosomes. If one, two, three, four, some chromosomes are absent or some chromosomes are absent added, then this condition is called anuclidy. There are many types, further types. They are monosomies. Most important are monosomic and trisomic. Monosomic mean 2 and minus 1. One chromosome is absent. And trisomy is one chromosome extra. That means 2 and plus 1. Uh, in rare cases, 2 and plus 2, 2 and plus 3, and 2 and minus 2 and 2 and minus 3 are also uh, viable. They can live, but more uh, except for some plants, such condition in human beings and higher animals are uh, very much uh, deranged and defective and may not survive. Uh, but it will depend on the organism to which we are going to study. Now, uh, in your book, the first example. Is of trisomies. This is the heading trisomy, tris from trisomy, trisomics. Word is trisomics and its plural is trisomies. The plant uh, which you are looking, the part of plant, this is seed capsule. Uh, name of plant, uh, if given, is or should be. I'm not sure he has given the name. Uh, okay, it is given. Do you know, anyone know something about what is Datura? Do you know, full name is Datura Cetrimonium. Do you know this plant? Do you have studied this plant anywhere in Borneo's Master Tool specifically? Anyone know something about this plant? What is Datura, Datura Cetrimonium? Uh, a bit loud, please. Again, repeat. Uh, your answer is right. Uh, its local name is Dhatura in Punjabi, Urdu, and Hindi, or in general in Hindustani languages. Its popular name is Dhatura. It is poisonous plant. It is used as poison. And it is also used in medicine, but it is very much important from genetics point of view. You can look at, at this diagram. Uh, this is a seed capsule. Capsule means it is a fruit. Capsule is type of fruit. You have studied fruit in semester 2 botany. Uh, there are different varieties of this uh, capsule and all of these varieties are dependent upon different trisomies. Uh, addition of chromosome number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or onward. And this is the normal diploid. Uh, the first diagram is for a normal datura capsule in which there is no trisomy and all other you have to look at again here. This is a normal diploid 2N that you are normal part and all the variations which you are looking at here there are 12 different trisomics and trisomy means 2 and plus 1 addition of 1 from chromosome number 1 chromosome number 2 chromosome number 3 and this is for chromosome number 12 addition of one chromosome results in many alteration including the sh change in shape of capsule which is actually fruit of this plant now this is uh, uh, this is very hardy plant. Most plants are hardy. It can survive uh, all these changes. It is viable. It remains alive. And it produces many varieties. Anyhow, this was the introduction to this. Uh, this example is from plants. This is a plant. And this example is from plant. There are many examples from human beings and from other animals. Now, you have to look at the example from human beings. Example of trisomy. Look at this child. Uh, do you think uh, this child looks normal or not?
Do you think this child, this child is normal? Do you think? No, sir. No, sir. Yes or no? Yes or no? Only two answers? Two choices? No, sir. Only one student have asked no. Okay. It is no. not a normal child. Uh, this is a child which is affected by a specific disease which is called Down syndrome. You have studied Down syndrome in second year. Look at this stereotype. This is stereotype of this child, which is abnormal. This is, uh, you can look at, this is the first chromosome, second, third, fourth, and these are sex chromosome. This is 21st pair of chromosome. This contains three instead of two chromosomes. There is an addition of one chromosome, an addition of one chromosome in 2N, that is 2N plus 1 is called a trisomy. Name of disease is Down syndrome, and uh, its introduction is given below. This child is abnormal and uh, the disease is Down syndrome. This syndrome is named after a name of a British physician, Longden Down, who in 1860 described this disease. But uh, this nature that they possess an extra chromosome 21, this was revealed in 1951 when cytologically cells of such patients were observed by microscope. Now, this is very important disease for human being, specifically with reference to females. Why? Its information uh, is very important for you. Most of you are females. Look at here. Uh, if this, uh, I'm sure it has given some information here. Or on the next page, perhaps. Yeah, uh, here is the information. Trisomy 21 is caused by chromosomal non destruction Chromosomal non destruction was a topic which you have studied in second year biology. And uh, I will show its diagram later on. It is the figure 6.15. This takes place in females, human females. A reason why uh, it will be discussed later. This disease is related with mother of age, uh, age of mother. If a female who is going to give birth to a child, if her age is 25 years or less, then the chances of this disease are only 1 in 100. Out of 100 child, only one would be of this type. Second, if the age of mother is 40 years, there are much more chances, which I am, that should have been here, but not shown here. If the age of mother is 40 or above 40, chances of this disease become much higher. But this point has not been explained here. It is elsewhere. It is given elsewhere. It is given elsewhere. It should have been here, but it is given elsewhere. Remember, if age of female is above 40 or 45 and she is pregnant, then the chances of this disease to occur are much more as compared to a younger female. Now, why this is the case? Why this is the case? Why a female whose age is 40 years or 45 years and she is pregnant, why the chances of disease are much more? This is related with meiosis. You have studied meiosis in FSC. Uh, most probably you have studied meiosis in botany in third semester also, but not with the point which I'm going to discuss. The point is, In human females and in uh, some other mammals, mammalian females, meiosis is arrested in different stages. In human beings specifically, meiosis is stopped or arrested in some specific stages. These stages are prophase one, and second is during metaphase one. 
the arrest of meiosis in prophase 1 and second arrest is in prophase 2. Uh, remember, in human females, meiosis is not completed. If the egg is not fertilized, then meiosis is not completed. Meiosis is completed only after egg has been fertilized. If egg is not fertilized for uh, a non-married female in which no sperms are available, meiosis is never completed. And even in sometimes in married females, after fertilization, meiosis 1 is completed, but meiosis 2 is not completed. Because uh, one product of the meiosis 1, polar body 1, rarely divides to form two cells. This was something new for you because you have not studied it earlier. Now I'm going to describe some symptoms. These are given here. Uh, some symptoms are well known to you already. Number one, they have sh short stature, height is less, loose jointed, giants are loose, uh, which can be seen when they walk. Specifically, their ankles are loose. They have broad skulls, they have wide nostrils, they have large tongues which come out of their mouth with a distinctive furrow in the tongue. They have stubby hands, stubby so means thick, fleshy. There is a crease on the palm which can be seen across the palm, just like lines. They have impaired mental abilities. They are much less intelligent as compared to normal children. Special education and care is required for them. Special education and special care is required for such mentally uh, defective children. Lifespan is also much shorter as compared to other people. Uh, all such person also develop Alzheimer disease, which is type of dementia, earlier as compared to other persons. Uh, they become Alzheimer uh, in 40s or 50s, as compared to others, which develop this in their 70s. Now, this is all about Down syndrome. Uh, in our local uh, environment, in Punjab specifically, such children are given names, Sai, Mast, Malang, etc. due to their abnormality and uh, no proper care is given to them. They can be treated with proper care and proper education. Now, there are some other examples of specific diseases in human beings, which may be either nullisomic or trisomic, that is one chromosome absent or one chromosome extra. These examples are... given on the next page. No, uh, one more example. In some human beings, abnormal human beings, chromosome number 13 or chromosome number 18 may have an extra copy. They are also similar to Down syndrome, but they are much rare. They are much rare. There are less chances of trisomy number 13 and trisomy number 18. Now, this is a diagram showing non-disjunction. Diagram is not complete. Diagram is not complete. It is not properly showing non decision. This can be seen in some other books. Anyhow, uh, you have to look at here. This is a normal cell. There are two possibilities. There are two possibilities. The one possibility is Uh, remember, this is chromosome number 21. This is this pair is pair, chromo, pair number 21 of chromosome, which is homologous chromosome pair 21. During meiosis 1, during meiosis 1, if 
no disjunction takes place, then this will be the case. Look at here. Here it is written, this book has written only non decision. This says primary non decision and this says secondary non decision. Note my point. This says primary non decision. The word primary is not written here. And this is secondary non decision. Primary non decision takes place during meiosis 1 and secondary takes place during meiosis 2. In meiosis 1, two cells are formed. If a chromosome pair is unable to disjoin, then this is primary non decision. And this one cell contains two chromosomes, and this is a null egg. It lacks an extra chromosome. Uh, it lacks chromosome 21. This is abnormal and it will not survive. Uh, this is survivable, and then these two chromosomes are further separated as chromatid during uh, NFS2. These this separation is NFS2. These this is diplo 21, diplo 21. This is nulla 21, nulla 21. These are four eggs. These two may survive and they will be aborted. Uh, if this this egg is fertilized by a sperm, the resulting child will be uh, trisomy with trisomy num chromosome number 21 and having disease, which is Down syndrome. Now look at here. This is meiosis 1. This was normal during meiosis 2. If there is non decision then this contains an extra chromosome and this like chromosome this is nulla 21 and same uh, would be the case if this is fertilized by a normal sperm then down syndrome will be produced same is the case with other trisomies of 13 and 18 now there are further examples there are many examples given of monosomies and trisomies in human beings and you have to look at these one by one Starting from here, number one, triplo X karyotype, simply called triplo X female. This is also example of a trisomy with one extra X chromosome. Such female have 47 chromosome with an extra X chromosomes. Uh, their properties, number one, uh, they're females, number one, they are Phenotypically, apparently they are normal or nearly normal. Normal or nearly normal. Sometimes they exhibit a slight mental impairment. Uh, in some females, they show less intelligence and reduced fertility. Reduced fertility means uh, chances of producing children is less. And... Uh, with another important, uh, their children, half of their children may be abnormal. Next is X, XY karyotype. This XXY karyotype is called Kleinfelter syndrome. Within, uh, it is also a norm of a scientist who studied it, Kleinfelter. They have an extra X chromosome. It is trisomy in human females because they look uh, X, sorry, XXY are males. XXY are male. Uh, we can call them male enants in local language in Punjabi, Urdu, Hindi. Husra, Husra. You, I'm sure you know all these words. They are apparently male, but there are many problems. They show some female secondary sex characters. They are apparently, phenotypically, they are male, but with some characters of female, for example, they have number one, uh, they are serial, they cannot reproduce. One, number two, uh, they were studied by in 1942 by H.F. Kleinfelter, and now named Kleinfelter syndrome on the name of the scientist who studied this. Then, uh, symptom includes small testes. And large breast, which is female symptom, long limbs, length of arms and legs, uh, longer than the normal. Knock knees, simply called knee knock. Uh, if they stand erect, their knocks touch each other, which helps in uh, this uh, is 
a negative point from medical point of view. Underdeveloped body hairs. Uh, they are produced by an abnormal egg which contains two X chromosomes due to non distinction when it is fertilized by a Y bearing chromosome, or it is also possible a normal egg is fertilized by an abnormal sperm containing both X and Y chromosome. Uh, in this book, chances of uh, births are not given. Uh, in other books, chances of births of such person are given. Uh, its chances are approximately 10 uh, percent out of 10,000. Out of 10,000, 10 persons are born with this disease, which is Klinefelter syndrome. There are some other varieties of this disease which are given here. They are double X, double Y, sorry, this is separate disease. Triple XY, tetra, uh, triple X, double Y, tetra XY, penta, one, two, three, four, tetra X, double Y, and penta XY. These are two different diseases. If it is XY, uh, then it is just Klinefelter syndrome, but if it is double Y, this is double Y, this is double Y, this is double Y, then it is Jacob syndrome. The person with two Ys are non-social, antisocial, sorry, they are antisocial. They have a criminal record. They are criminal minded. It was reported by some scientists who studied criminals in different uh, jails. And it was found that many of the criminals, which are mostly males, contain two Y chromosomes. And this was named Jacob syndrome. It means uh, y chromosomes somehow creates criminal mindedness. These are not treatable. All of these are deep genetic diseases and they cannot be treated in any way. Now, it is all about trisomy. We have studied uh, the example which are given in this book for trisomy. Next topic would be monosomy. If you have any question about trisomy type of enuclearity, you can ask question. Do you have any question? Some information are given on the next page in the table, uh, but uh, you look at here. Possibility of Down syndrome is one out of 7,000 birth. Possibility of uh, Tau syndrome is one out of 20,000 birth. And possibility of Edward syndrome, these are all two and plus one. Uh, trisomy 21, trisomy 13, trisomy 18. Uh, one out of 8,000 births. It is the least and it is the most abundant disease. And for Turner syndrome, it is one out of 25,000 female births. And for uh, double XY Glenfrey syndrome, it is one out of 500 male births. Male births mean it would be one over uh, 1,000 births in general. And the last, these are some rare diseases with the triple X female having possibility of one out of 7,000 birds. Symptoms are given here, which would be discussed later on because this have been discussed already. Tau syndrome, uh, these two having mostly similar, but they are more dangerous. Uh, Turner syndrome is to be discussed later on. Kleinfeld syndrome is studied. Uh, we have studied uh, their countries today. And this last one, they have also been studied on the back page with slight mental retardation. Only this one is left. 
Turner syndrome is to be discussed in the next topic, which is monosomy. Any question up to this? Only three minutes are left. Approximately three minutes are left. No question.